Point International conducted a Phase I SBIR project under contract to the Air Force Research Laboratory to develop a method to extract pilots from an F-A-22 under emergency conditions. The goal is to minimize stress and injury to the firefighters and reduce potential injury to the pilots. Also important is the ability to conduct repeated training without causing damage to the sensitive coating of the aircraft. This video provides an overview of the concept and the work conducted to date, culminating in a proof of concept demonstration. It also lays the foundation for the follow-on Phase 2 work. For the purpose of demonstrating Phase 1 proof of concept, Quain built a two-scale mock-up of the fuselage of an F-A-22. We used the prototype PowerQuick Powered Ascender developed and demonstrated under prior DARPA SBIR and built a heavy wall demonstration version of COIN's Pilot Access Rescue Stand, nicknamed the PARS Unit, which was constructed of steel pipe. The purpose of the demonstration was to verify that COIN's approach and technology can be applied to a pilot rescue scenario, and that the entire rescue, from deployment to pilot on the ground, can be accomplished in the required 90 seconds. The demonstration begins with a description of the demonstration scenario. It assumes that a crew ladder will be available as a standard on most installations. The person demonstrating the rescue will simulate safety in the seat and preparing the pilot, in this case a 165 pound dummy, for extraction. What he would be is the person who would take the crew ladder, throw it up, and run up to secure the guy. The second person would set the stand up, and this is kind of a heavyweight mock-up, so it's already here, but he would fold it out. The ascender is, would be pre-positioned and attached to the stand so that you could deploy it when it was set up. Once it's set up, he goes up and uh, unsecures the pilot. All right, on the left side, I'm just making, right, putting the seat on the safe so it doesn't eject. I'm right, just making the GC nose, the intercom, the left belt buckle. Keep in mind that removing a stiff dummy from a cockpit is much more difficult than moving a person as the dummy has no waist or hip flex. In spite of that, and even with the extra time taken to narrate the demonstration, the entire demonstration took less than 90 seconds. Is climbing with the power quick ascender as easy as it looks? Ask our program manager who took a ride to see for herself. In phase two, the PAR stand will be made of high strength composites. Once it's removed from the fire truck, the entire unit is designed to self-deploy in only seconds with the ascender in position and ready for extraction. The unit will be totally adjustable and have large foot pads which will allow it to be deployed on uneven or wet ground. It would fold up like an umbrella and the back leg is on a separate locking mechanism as the front tube so that it could be adjusted separately to account for uneven terrain. And you would unlock it, collars would slide up, and everything would fold together, and it would just become long and skinny. And it'll weigh somewhat less than 100 pounds. 
The ascender itself will be modified to reduce the weight from its current 22 pounds, including the battery, and if further research shows it's necessary, it may be covered with a soft coating to further prevent damage to the aircraft during repeated training. While the focus of this project is in support of the F-A-22, the technology and procedures demonstrated in this video are applicable to all fighter aircraft, as well as for self-rescue from tankers and cargo aircraft. But let's look at the other benefits. The Power Quick Ascender can be used for numerous maintenance as well as rescue applications, including hangar service and maintenance, high angle rescue, confined entry, and the list goes on. Coin is in the process of low rate initial production of the current version, which was used for this demonstration, and anticipates reaching full production in early spring. This unit will be used for industry applications as well as civil search and rescue. This is indeed one SBIR where the Air Force will receive a technology with markets and capabilities that far exceed the original.